Hello everybody, it's Koopo. Welcome to another episode of Risen. Oh boy, we have a lot of quests to do, so we'll see how far we get in this episode. A lot to do. Um, so for starters, we're going to have to pick up... Was it pickpocketing? I want to be... Let's pick up uh, pickpocketing here. I want to be a pickpocket. Let's start simple. You can't rob someone who's keeping an eye on their purse. Right. Sounds obvious, but lots of thieves get nabbed like that. Be patient. Distract your mark. Talk to them. Ask them a question so they have to think. That's the moment to pull the loot from their pocket. All right, so we got pickpocketing level one. So see now it'll add dialogues where you can pickpocket. Too risky. So he's too good to pickpocket. It'd be kind of funny to see what would happen if we pickpocketed him. Okay, so my HPs are kind of low, so let's go sleep in the bed. We beat these guys up, so I don't think they're going to charge us for sleeping in the hotel bed. So let's do that. Ooh, a war skin. I'm constantly stealing and looting stuff. Oh, Do me a favor, mate, and don't let Costa know you can fight like that, or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him, or are we gonna have another problem? No, I might be paid for muscle, but that doesn't mean I don't have a brain. Okay. That dialogue was from earlier. Ooh, it's a druid hemlock right here. Let's grab. Hey, this. wait a minute. Don't walk by, try the best fish in town. This is your lucky day, because I have one perfect Piscine offer for you. You do. Buy one fish and get a second fish completely free. Two fish for the price of one. Sounds like a good deal. Look at all those like bugs flying around the fish. <laughs> okay, so. Can I pickpocket? Too risky. No. So I'm not really worried about doing his quest yet, if he has one. So let's get this druid hemlock. Alright, let's do our quest. We have to go talk to this guy named Weasel. Hopefully I can fit all these quests in, in at least like a half hour. <laughs> we got a lot to do. I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I want something? Everyone wants something. Money, usually. You're one of the Don's men. Nothing gets past you, does it? So, what's going on here? Not much. Can't do anything while those scum-sucking white-robed bastards won't let me out of their sight. Why are the white robes watching you? Well, because they know I hate them. And they think I'm a thief. And are you? Of course not. I even used to offer protection to the merchants. And get paid for it. That's how business works. And now, now, Carlos is just waiting for me to give him a reason to banish me from the town. But I won't give him the chance. What do you know about Commandant Carlos? Warrior of the Inquisition. A slimy, filthy bog slug who happens to be the new lord of the town. He and his guards represent the law. They behave like there are no laws at all. May they drown in the fifth hell. I could help you. How? Let me join you. I'll work for you. Why? Why should I even trust you? This town's full of spies and collaborators. I've already worked for Del Taco. I've already worked for Delgado, collecting protection money. Protection money? So, you already have some experience. I could work for you. This here is the Fat Cat's quarter. You don't just go from door to door collecting protection money. Those white robe bastards are everywhere, and they see everything. So how does it work here? 
Before I show you the tricks, you'll have to do something else for me. What is it you want me to do? Don Esteban controls most of the Bruegel on the island. Leonardo, the alchemist, he processes the harvest. Then Garth, the alchemist's assistant, brings it to us. But recently, some of the goods have gone missing. So, somebody's taking it. Do you suspect anyone? Garth. I think Garth's behind it. Why don't you punish him? I can't risk those infernal white robes finding out. And even though Garth is a coward, I don't know if a beating will make him talk. How does the Bruegelweed get into the town? You don't need to know that. And what if the goods are disappearing on their way in? No. When Leonardo gets the goods, they're complete. What do you want me to investigate? Garth is too stupid to do this on his own. Somebody's paying him. You follow Garth when he delivers the weed packages. And when he meets his partner, you grab both of them. You want me to do that alone? I'd gladly break their ratty bones with you, but the white robe pigs won't let me out of their sight. What do I get if I bring you the packages? Money. It's always about money. Bring me what I want, and I'll show you how we separate rich merchants from their property. Is that all? We'd be prepared to trust you more as well. That guard, Marcelo, is determined to nail me. He mustn't get the packages. The pig botherer. I'll follow Garth. Good. Garth works across from here in the alchemist's house. Stand next to me or behind me so he doesn't notice you right away. He's a nervous soul. What would happen if Marcelo got the packages? The stinking brute would hound me for all eternity. Everyone in the town knows we control the weed trade. And with the packages as evidence, Marcelo would be on me like swamp fly. Not a pretty thought. That's why you have to find the packages and give them to me. I'm ready to follow Garth. Garth's leaving. Give him a bit of a head start, then follow him. Keep your distance, but don't let him out of your sight. If anything goes wrong, come back. Got it? Alright, so... There's Garth, and we're gonna follow him. And on the way, a prostitute is going to... Offer services to us. <laughs> if you take the services, then you have to restart the quest, from what I read. But I didn't try it, I just told her to go away. She is. Hey, sweetheart. How about I make a real man of you? Once you get some lily loving, you'll never look back. Sorry, I'm not interested. Come on, love. How long has it been since you had a warm body beside you? What part of I'm not interested did you not understand? All right, all right. Can't blame a girl for trying. Okay, so we said nope. Where did our guy go? I lost him. There he is. save here before we get in a little battle here oh crap what do you want did did you follow me 
It really wasn't hard. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah. I seen you about. Nosing in everyone's business. People don't like people's noses being stuck into other people's business. People like that get hit. By people. Hand over the packages you took. Sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Then you leave me no choice. Garth, get him! Shut his flapping mouth. Time for a so, little lesson. So, I want to try to beat Garth up first. Huh? Okay, okay, this is not working out. Garth's a lot weaker than Cutter, but... Okay, the targeting is so awkward. Oh, come on, that's cheap. You can just hot shots. Me. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's reload. I wish there was a way to take the auto targeting off. It just feels like it'd be way better without it. Oh crap. It re Hey, you. Yeah. People don't. Hand up. Shut. Abs. Then. Garth. Shut his. Time for a little lesson. Okay, so. Ah! 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 I don't know. I don't want anything to do with you, Cutter. I couldn't get his weapon. Okay. <laughs> Barely made it out of that. So let's go turn it in. Haven't I seen you hanging around the brothel? <laughs> what, what, me? No, no not me. You didn't catch me there. I mean, real men don't pay for it, do they? They, well, you know, it, it wasn't me you saw. Yeah, you're right. And you are a real man. Lol. You can actually sleep here in the brothel, I believe, without making anybody angry. So let's do that to get our health back. Garth's working with Cutter. Cutter? He lets us pay him so we can work in peace and then he steals from us. That bastard had sucked bog bodies if he thought there was money in it. What about the packages? 
Did he have them on him? We need those packages. Here are the packages you wanted. Good work. A lot of gold is coming your way. So we got two out of four for the Don now, if you saw. So two more people to help. Come on then. Tell me how to fleece the merchants. Right. There are two worthwhile targets. There's Conrad, the goods merchant. He buys from the farmers and sells at a big profit. And there's Alvaro, the weapons dealer. Since the only smith in the town works for him, he dictates the price of weapons. How do I collect from the two merchants? First, get an overview. Talk to them. Perhaps even buy something. You have to find out what's keeping them busy, what problems they have, and what weaknesses. We know their weaknesses. We can use that against them. Okay. So we got two new quests here. So let's do the Conrad one first. Who is... This is his house right here. If you want it, I've got it. If you're here to buy, welcome. If you're here just to look or to beg, get out. I'm trying to run a business. So we're gonna talk to him and then he's gonna pretty much kick us out. And then Tilda will talk to us. Do you have any work going? I already pay enough workers. More would bleed me dry. With a business like this, maybe you need someone to protect you. What? Are you threatening me? Are you one of the Don's puppets? Let me tell you something. I make money. I don't give it away. I heard Comrade swearing at you. That bastard only cares about gold. At least now, he knows what it's like to lose something. You don't sound too happy about that. My family's been selling our harvest to Comrade for years. When we lost everything in the troubles, he said he'd take us in. In? He makes us sleep outside. Tell me about Conrad. His house is full of supplies, but he won't share them with you if that's what you're after. He didn't lift a finger to help us when they took our cows to be slaughtered, and we've known him for years. Who took your cows? The Inquisition. Said they needed to feed people, but now how do we feed ourselves? Of course, Conrad talked to Carlos and got his cows spared. Can you help me? I need to know where Conrad's cows are. He has them in an enclosure at the rear town gate. He has a farmer garden. I don't know his name, but he looks tough. All the cows are Conrad's, apart from my Elsa. At least they've spared her so far. What happened to you? You must know what terrible things have befallen this island. All those ruins bursting from the ground. Some of them rose in the middle of our farm and the Inquisition said we had to leave. But my sons, my sons are still out there somewhere. They all went their own way before these creatures came. I hardly get a wink of sleep worrying about them. Do you know where they are? Do you know where my sons are? I have no idea. If you hear anything or meet someone who's been outside, please don't forget to ask about them. Please. Okay, so... Can't your husband help? Ingvar? Huh. We're in dire straits and he's drinking the last of our gold in the tavern. So we'll worry about the sons later. We, we have so much to do already. Alright, so we need to go find the cow. Which is by the eastern gate. The guides are pretty bad that I've read about this quest, so... I got it all figured out, though, so... We're gonna sleep until nighttime. Because it should just make everything easier. We have to kill uh, the cow, and we don't really want anybody to see us. Oops, I said morning. Hold on, we have to sleep again until, uh, until nighttime. Okay, so we gotta go uh, kill that guy's cow. That Conrad guy.
Okay, so here we are back uh, where we actually started at the beginning. Here's Del Taco. So, this should be, this is a guard here. There's a guard right there. So this guy's protecting the cow, but here's the cow Berta. This is prize cow. Stop leaving the animals alone. with livestock. Oh, the guard saw me. It might be because I didn't talk to the farmer, so let me let me just talk to him. I think that's what happened. Cuz that didn't happen last Hello time. farmer. Hello. Stranger. What is it you're doing here? I'm one of the lucky ones. The merchant comrade pays me to watch his cows. The others haven't been so lucky. But such is the law of the Inquisitor. In the town you'll be safe, they said. Safe, maybe. Safe and starving. So you guard cows? Yeah. And feed and milk them. Berta here is the best cow we have. Aren't you, old girl? She's a grand milker. Best on the island. A real bovine beauty. No wonder Conrad wants me to guard her. I can see you're very proud. Okay, so we talked to him. Hopefully this will make the guard not attack. So quick save. And let's, let's try it. Stop leaving the animals alone. with livestock. Okay, so we can't have the guard attack. This was not an issue when I just did this. The guard did not attack. Might have something to do with like the angle that I do this. Just keep trying, I guess. Ah! Ah! Stop interfering with livestock. Ah! Yeah, that's not gonna work out good for us guys if the guard keeps coming. I wonder if this guard moves at all. I'm sure you have plenty to do. I like shoot it with my bow from like over here. <laughs> Let's try it. Stop interfering with livestock. There we go. I mean, we got the farmer to come. Ah. Okay, let's get this bow back out and game's not letting me move for some reason. Hello? Hello? Stop screwing around. Okay, let's take your stuff. Take Berta's skull. Do a quick save. Might as well get the free milk, right? Okay, so... I didn't have to do that the first time, the whole arrow thing, but that's what I did this time to make it work, so. It's probably actually good that that happened for you guys watching, if you're wondering how to do it, that's might be what you have to do. Okay, let's, uh, this way. So this part uh, of the quest is actually a little tricky. We're actually going to go on top of Conrad's house now and put the skull on his bed. So, this part's not explained very well in any of the guides I've been looking at, but basically they're going to aggro onto you and be angry at you. But it's okay. Just run away. Okay, so here's Comrade's house. We're gonna head up up top here to get on top of the house. So you can get up right here. 
do a quick save and so we're gonna drop down real quick drop the item on the bed and run away so everyone's gonna get really mad but it, it's okay you better not be trying to nick any hey leave our life right, let's alone. get out of here okay so just keep running but one of the guards I think is gonna maybe come after us but we'll settle this later no nope. Looks like the guards didn't come. Last time the guards chased me, but I went down here and they unleashed, so the guards might chase you, but it's okay, just keep running and they'll unleash. And then they will they'll forget that anything ever happened. So here's the brothel. We can come in here and sleep with Olga and she'll give us a scroll. I actually already have two of them, but we'll do this anyway, just so you know how to get the scroll. It's very simple, sweetie. You want something, you pay for it. And there's no discount for rugged and handsome here. So, if we sleep with Olga, she'll give us a scroll that'll make Conrad talk to us. Because he's angry at us now, because we just he just saw us <laughs> put the skull on his bed. Yeah. What can you offer me? You are in the finest brothel in town. If you can't find it here, it's not worth having. So if I was a customer, who would you recommend to me? Olga's over there. She's a lovely girl. Very friendly and extremely flexible. And behave yourself, understand? I don't want to hear any complaints. Okay, so let's go uh, speak with Olga. I can tell you're hungry for the kind of adventure that only Olga can bring. I see things. I know things. It's just Madame Sonia and a few gold coins stand in your way. I paid Sonia for your services. I understand what a man wants. You're an explorer, am I right? An adventurer. Come conquer my continents, lover. Dot, dot, dot. Did I take you to a few places you've not seen before? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder why I haven't seen you before. I see many things. Things that are unseen by most. I'm psychic. I haven't been here long. And you don't plan on staying long, right? No, I have business to take care of. Pity, but something tells me you will prove important to this place. So let me give you something for the hard road ahead. If you have upset another and they will not speak to you, then this scroll will soothe them. It contains a powerful spell, so use it wisely. Thank you, Olga. I wish you luck on your continued adventures. I feel you may need a great deal of it. Okay, so we, she just gave us the scroll. Magic. Right here, tell jerk, so let's put it to a hot key. Now I can go back and use the scroll on Conrad to get him to talk to me. Okay, so they're You better not be trying to nick anything. Alright, so Don't here's kinda touch it. you killed a perfectly to me, good so animal. Use the hockey. And there we go. Ooh, am I drunk? <laughs> nice one. Okay, I think he'll talk to me. What do you want here? Too risky. Ah, I can't pick it up. Wait, where is he? So, you won't let Tilda into your house? Did she tell you that? The old witch. I give her food and room and all she does is whine.
Why don't you just let her sleep inside? It's no business of yours who I let in my house. This game is weird. Last time I did this, um, just a second ago, he just he started a dialogue with me and gave me a bunch of gold. So I don't know what's going on right now. He's following me. Um, maybe I'm supposed to talk to Weasel first. Maybe I messed that up. Conrad keeps a couple of cows at the rear town gate. Good to know. And? Maybe I was supposed to check in. Conrad has a favorite cow. A really good one. Berta. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not. I'm sure he would miss Berta. And a dead Berta will remind him of his own mortality. Conrad won't be sleeping alone tonight. <laughs> Better find that a moving experience. I'd stake my life on it. All right. Now, let's give him a little time to grasp the situation. When should I go back and see him? No hurry. Rest. See Sonia. You've earned it. Then you can visit Conrad. Okay. My mistake, guys. I guess I should have talked to him first. So I should have talked to him before I came to the brothel. So for now, let's just sleep. I don't even know if this will matter. Okay, now hopefully we can go talk to Conrad. It's you! Yep, there we go. Hello, Conrad. How's business? You dare to show your face here. I know you were behind it, you and that weasel. What do you mean? You killed my cow. You killed my Elsa. Well, your Elsa wasn't very well protected. You bastard. These are dangerous times. Yeah, and every bastard is just out for what they can get. And you're stuck with me. Here, take your gold. I don't know how you can sleep at night. Just leave. Just go. I don't really understand why he gives me gold, but okay. <laughs> I guess, uh... I guess that works. Conrad paid up. The Skinflint made the right decision. Now he's tame, we know where he is if we need to, uh, milk him. But if he needs us... Well, we'll help him. Only fair. Okay, so we finished that quest. And we had a second quest. Which was collect from Alvaro. Okay, so this one, first thing we have to do is talk to Alvaro's blacksmith. So Alvaro's place is here. That's him in there. So we're going to go talk to Walter. We have to do a little quest for Walter first. Yeah. How are you? How's business? Busy. But since the Inquisitor's laws were passed, I've been up to my neck in work. Alvaro hardly leaves me any time to sit down with a beer. Seriously, I can't remember the last time I slept. Can you teach me anything? Love to, but I don't have any time, thanks to Alvaro. Tell me something about Alvaro. I need to work. Can't work all day. Take a break. And who'll do my job? You? I can give it a try. <laughs> Alvaro would love that. Me getting any old person to do my job. Or he'd be glad for his smith to get some rest. What makes Alvaro glad is chests bulging with gold. Alvaro's really working you to the bone. Sign of the times. Everyone in this town wants a weapon. Or wants a weapon sharpening. Still, it will be over at some point. Okay, so we have to get Walter a break. So we'll 
talk to Faro. I'll take a wild guess. You want a weapon? I have a couple for sale, if you tell me what you're after. Also, we got pickpocketing so we could steal this guy's key, so... Have you any weapons that are any good? Any good? So here's the key. Any good? I have the best weapons you'll find on this whole island. You won't find any better. Okay, so... Your smith's a hard worker. Got the key. Lots of work means lots of profit. We're about the only ones doing well here. So we have to take the work while we can. Your smith looks like he's about to collapse. Walter? He's as strong as an ogre. Even ogres fall over at some point. I'm not a tyrant, you know. But the work has to be done. Who can help you with those jobs? There are a couple of servants here in the merchant's quarter. If you can find them and pay them to work for me, that'll take the strain off Walter. Here's a bag of gold for the servants. It doesn't get delivered, I'll know. Harbour Town is a small place, and the gates are sealed. Does this mean Walter will get a break? As soon as he's finished Marcello's blade, he can stop. Okay, so... I need to find some new servants for him, and luckily they're just right here. So here's the first one. Hey, are you looking for some work? What? Alvaro has some work needs doing. The old man sent you. What does he want? He needs some blades sharpening. That suits me. Okay. So this one, and then the second one's just around the corner. Looking for a job? Might be. What do you want doing? Alvaro needs some wood chopping. Yeah, all right. I'll get started. Okay. So we can go talk to Alvaro again. The servants he wanted are now at work. Excellent. You've earned my trust. Keep the rest of the gold. Very generous. It was a fair wage. If you want to beg for more money, sniff round Master Belshaw in the gutters. Okay, so... Let's go back to the Walter. Where'd he go? He must have really needed to go on that break, huh? Weird. Okay. So, to finish this quest, we have to lock pick this door right here. So, to learn lock picking, we have to learn it from Sid. So, that means we have to go do Sid's quest line. So, this quest is a little bit awkward because we had to do that for Walter, and then now we have to go get lock picking. I think I can just start with talking to Rodri. Well, well, we'll do it in the order I did it last time. So Sid's right up here. Oh, actually, he's standing outside. Cool. Hey, they call me Sid. I hope you're not some faceless minion of the Order. What do you know about the Order? The Order locks us in the town like cattle and drags men off to the monastery. Take Rodriguez, a good man, reliable. And now, I did something to his mind up at the monastery. They got to him. Now he's just a tool of the Inquisitor. It's evil, stirring people's brains around like that. Do you need help? It's Rodriguez. He's out to get me. He's part of the Order. You're on my side, so do me a favor. Find out what he's planning and tell me. What was Rodriguez before? He was a decent, honest thief. Salt of the Earth. They caught him outside looting. Took him off and changed him. Poor fool guards the slaughterhouse by the harbor for the order now. Alright, let's go talk to Rodriguez. This is a good quest line too, because it's one of the ones for the dawn. There's a hungry lot. But if you want meat, I'll want coin. If you don't have any coin, Master Belcher is handing out stew to the poor. Though you don't look that poor. What's your job here? I guard the slaughterhouse. 
Not a plum job, but when you decide to switch sides from the Don to the Inquisition, it takes time to earn trust. That's why I'm stuck guarding meat. Oh no, that's certainly increased in value now the storms have curbed the fishing trade. People are as likely to steal steak as they are artifacts. Have there been many break-ins? Too many. Three houses were robbed recently. And what was done about it? Not much we could do apart from keep an eye on local troublemakers. I am positive Sid is behind it though. Why do you think Sid was behind the robberies? He considers himself a local leader of sorts. Likes to stir things up. But what makes you so sure it was him? Well, you just have to look at that girlfriend of his and the wealth she flaunts to know it's not coming from an honest source. What are you planning to do now? If I can prove Sid was behind the burglaries, maybe I can improve my standing in the order. But I doubt anyone would talk to me. The Don's men feel betrayed, and the Inquisition are suspicious. So, I need someone who doesn't have my baggage. What about you? It would help this town no end if the burglaries were stopped. I can pay you for your aid. How much will you pay me? How about 150 gold? Okay, I'll investigate the break-ins. Good. Be careful, it won't be easy. Sid's tricky. It's difficult to pin anything on him, even though he always seems to know where items of value can be found. You think he cased the houses in advance? He may be a thief, but he's not a stupid one. He probably sent someone else to scope the houses out. If you can find out who his spy is, that'll be a good start. Whose houses were robbed? Nelson the cartographer, Flavio the fur dealer, and Baxter the bookkeeper. You should talk to each of them. Their statements could be the key to bringing Sid to justice. Alright, so let's go back talk to Sid, and then we have to talk to those three people who were robbed. I spoke to Rodriguez. He thinks you're behind the break-ins. He's trying to frame me. He hates me. Always has for some reason. Rodriguez thinks you're using a spy to check out potential houses. Does he? Do you? Have a spy? What do you think? Who is it? No, of course I don't. Why would I? But if you find a spy, talk to me before you talk to Rodriguez. Maybe no one needs to get in trouble. So this is one of those quests where you gotta decide if you're going for the bandits or if you're going for the other factions. So we're going for the bandits. I think one of the people we need to talk to is up here. Nope. Don't touch anything. I guess I've been wrong. Okay. There's definitely a guy way up here. Is it up here or was it down there? Uh, it's, there he is, Flavio. Welcome, welcome. I am Flavio the Merchant. Hello, Flavio the Merchant. I bet you're looking for work. I can't give you any. You'll have to try somewhere else. About the break-in. Who was here on the day of the break-in? Just the usual day laborers who wanted to push their wares off on me. <sighs> like I have any gold left. Anyone else? Ah, uh, Pavel was here the whole day. After all, he works for me. And Vasily wanted to sell me beer from the tavern. And then there was Doyle. He wanted to sell fish, but I sent him away. That was all. What was stolen? Ah, uh, my hides. If that hadn't have happened, I would have been able to carry on my business. Oh, I should have listened to my father and gone to sea. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Okay, so we talk to him. Let's find our next target. I'm pretty sure he was up here in this building. I don't understand why he wasn't there. Maybe he comes down here during the day. Yep, he does. Okay, Nelson. Ahoy! Come to see me, have you? See if I can pickpocket him. Too risky. Nope. <laughs> I heard you had a break-in. Who was here on the day of the break-in? 
A few people. Mo from the slaughterhouse brought me a delivery of meat. Anyone else? The laborer Doyle sold me fish. And Pavel, one of Flavio's men, he sold me a couple of wolf pelts. What was stolen? A ring. A valuable one. I received it from Commandant Carlos personally, in return for a map of the island. Okay, so that's that's another quest that we'll do. We'll, we'll worry about that later. We're, we're already... Pretty long video already. <laughs> I'm trying to just get it out of this, this done. But we'll do Nelson's ring later. And the last fellow, I think, is... Yeah, Baxter. Just a moment. If I take three at 25 plus 18 hams, that's... 238. I can't do this with you staring at me. You're doing the accounts. I keep the books for the butcher's shop. There's a skill. You think calculating's easy? There's not many around here can do it. I can. Really? You want to test me? Yes. What's 14 times 17? 238. Very good. A man should value the weapons of the mind. About the break-in. What was stolen? What else? Gold, of course. The gold belongs to the Order. Now, it's gone. How much gold was taken? All of it. I don't know exactly how much. I was just about to do the accounts when I noticed a theft. Who was in the house on the day of the break-in? Well, Doyle tried to sell me fish, but I don't like fish, so he left. That fat o Facili brought beer. I paid for that, traded him a few pieces of meat. And of course, Mo was here a few times, but that isn't unusually works here after all. All right, we talked to everybody. So I should be able to go talk to Sid. That's his name. Couldn't think of his name. I found your spy. You have, have you? I'll talk to them and get the proof I need. Sure. Sure you will. Okay, doesn't believe me. So his spy is Doyle. So we have to go to the hotel. And the hotel is back over here. Kind of at the start by uh, Del Taco. Should be Doyle right here. <sighs> What do you want here? I could ask you the same thing. I sleep here. Nothing wrong with that, is there, mate? What do you think of the Inquisition? They protect us. What should I, I can't steal? complain about that. And once they've done what they have to, Took the everything will be like it used to be. <sighs> what is you it? You were seen in a house that was burgled. I sell fish door to door. I spend time in people's houses. If you say so. You're the only person seen in all the houses that were broken into, which makes you a prime suspect. Come off it. You can't prove that, mate, and you know it. I can beat a confession out of you. That would be a big mistake, mate. I'll take the chance. Or we skip the beating and you tell me the truth. And if I do, will you help me? Or will you hang me out to dry? Just tell me. I cased the houses for Sid. There. Not so hard, was it? But what do I do with this information? If Sid hears I've talked, he'll feed me to the rotworms. And if the Order finds out, they'll send me to the monastery. You've got to keep this quiet. Sorry for the background sound, guys. So here you have a decision to make. Um, so we don't want to go for the order. We want to go for the dawn. It's better if you disappear, for good. That way you won't be a problem for Sid, or anyone. No. You wouldn't. No. D don't kill me. It would solve the problem. Wait. If I have to disappear, then let me disappear. I I'll vanish underground. 
I'll never come back to Harbour Town again. I swear on the Holy Flame, mate. Everyone will believe I'm dead, even my family. What do you say? I, I can be gone in seconds. Right. I'll tell Sid you've vanished. But if I ever see you here again, you're a dead man. Thank you. I, I swear I'm gone forever. Alright, so we got three out of four for the dawn now. And Sid should be happy with me. And he should teach me how to lockpick now. I found your spy. It's Doyle. The idiot. I thought he was better than that. Doyle has gone. Forever, I hope. What did you do with him? You really want to know? No. You dealt with it. That's enough for me. Let's forget him and talk business. Looks like I saved your skin. True. I'd be on the run right now. So, how will you repay me? Skordo knows you helped me. That's reward enough. I can teach you a couple of tricks. If you want to learn how to sneak or open a lock with a piece of wire, I'm your man. And if you need lock picks, I can get them for you as well. I want to be a better thief. Alright, we can learn open locks here. Show me how to pick locks. Right, right. Many locks have a bolt that you have to push down in order to be able to open the lock. Then you can poke in all directions with your lock pick until the lock springs open. But be careful. If you push in the wrong direction, the lock pick may break. Alright, so we got the lock picking and I don't know if he gives us any quests, but we'll worry about that later. Because we're trying to stay focused. Okay, so hopefully Walter's gonna show up. Because we have to talk to Walter now. I'm not sure where he went. Okay, he's back. Good news. Oh, what's that? Alvaro says you can take a couple of days off. That doesn't sound like him. You just need to finish the blade staff for Marcelo. I've already finished the staff. It's been in the cellar for a while. Alvaro's really got the hearts for getting this delivery. Well, thanks for your help. If you need anything... Maybe another time. Thanks for the break. Did me the power of good. One hand washes the other. I need your help. What's up? About the blade staff for Marcelo. The one I forged? Yes. Why is it so important? Alvaro wants to use this gift to make an important friend in the Order. So we're gonna pay him 50 gold twice. He'll be keeping that blade staff safe then. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But? Alvaro wears the key for the chest on his belt. But the cellar lock, it's old and rusty. A child can pick it with a piece of wire. That's Alvaro, won't even pay for a new lock. Why is it you want to know? None of my business, but maybe I can help. What else can you tell me? I can tell you Alvaro tends to creep around the house at night. Sleepless man, probably up, counting his earnings. How would someone get into the cellar? In theory, as quietly as possible. And if Alvaro is awake, wait until he's not around. Okay. So we're gonna have to sneak in. So we want to do this at night time. And you don't you don't need the sneak skill. We're just gonna run down as fast as we can. I, I haven't learned the sneak skill yet. So my favorite bed in the brothel. Alright, till midnight. Go 
Nicholas Walter. All right, so see he's not there, so he's upstairs. So this is why we had to get lock picking for this door. I think it's D A D. There. All right, now we gotta hurry. Don't even think about stealing. And then we pickpocketed the key so we can get into here. So we got the staff now. There's a few pieces of loot you can pick up here if you want. Watch yourself. Okay, so click save, and now we'll sell it back, back to him. I heard you lost Marcelo's staff. You'll be interested to know I found one. Just found it, did you? Wasn't in my chest, was it? It's a staff, and it's yours. That's what I'm saying. You rot worm. You're asking me to pay for my staff. See it as a reward for me finding it. You're a piece of work, you are. Pretend to care about Walter. You're just interested in yourself. It's just a bit of gold. Add it to your next deal. And to think I thought you were all right for an outsider. So let's not... The guides that I've looked at say to not ask for the extra 50 gold, so let's just be happy with our 100. I am. Or I'd have asked you for a lot more. Just sling your hook. Alright, we did it. Should be quest complete. What? So let's see. Conrad is complete, and then Alvaro is complete. So awesome. We got a couple of quests completed. We got more to do, and there's one more main quest for uh, the bandits. So we got three out of four done for the bandits. So we got to find that last person to help. So yeah, <laughs> I know it's a long one, guys. We had a lot to get through. So as always, comment, subscribe. I'll